Have you ever wondered if we are truly alone in the universe? What if ancient myths contained hidden truths about extraterrestrial visitors who shaped our past? Today, we will delve into the controversial theories of Zechariah Sitchin, who claimed that our ancestors were created by ancient astronauts called the Anunnaki. Fasten your seatbelts, truth seekers, because we are about to unravel one of the most intriguing stories on the planet. Hello, curious minds, and welcome back to Deciphering Stories. I'm your host, Luca Schultz. And today we're going to decipher the captivating world of Zechariah Sitchin, a figure whose theories have sparked controversy and fascination in equal measure. But before we embark on this journey of discovery, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Zechariah Sitchin wasn't your typical author. An economist by profession Sitchin unexpectedly found himself at the center of a cultural storm with his series, The Earth Chronicles. His bold claim? That ancient Sumerian texts, enigmatic clay tablets whispered from the cradle of Mesopotamia, held the key to humanity's extraterrestrial origins. He painted a picture of the Anunnaki, technologically advanced beings from a distant planet Nibiru, arriving on Earth in search of gold. These gods, according to Sitchin, genetically modified Homo sapiens as a workforce. But was Sitchin a visionary who deciphered hidden truths, or a fantastic storyteller who blurred the lines between fact and fiction? This is where the waters get murky, academics often scoff at his methodology, citing his misinterpretations of Sumerian language, forced connections between ancient myths and modern science, and the complete lack of evidence about Nibiru. However, Dismissing Sitchin as merely a fiction writer seems a dismissive attitude. He undeniably sparked a spark of curiosity, leading many to question established narratives and delve into the mysteries of our past. However, I'll leave a personal analysis for us to debate in the comments. We can raise the question, does Sitchin's lack of academic rigor discredit his entire theory? Or can we extract valuable insights even from flawed interpretations? Perhaps the true value lies not in his literal claims but in the questions he raises. Were ancient myths inspired by celestial phenomena misunderstood as alien encounters? Could these stories even if not literal accounts of extraterrestrial intervention, contain clues to our forgotten past, to connections with the cosmos that we still don't fully understand? In the year 1849 a group of archaeologists discovered 14 clay tablets with cuneiform writing in the region of ancient Mesopotamia. This form of writing is considered the oldest ever recorded by civilizations. Thus, the Azerbaijani archaeologist Zechariah Sitchin spent about 30 years translating the tablets. He published the translations in a series of books titled, The Earth Chronicles. The central claim of Zechariah Sitchin rests on the shoulders of the Anunnaki, a race of technologically advanced beings from a distant planet called Nibiru. In Sitchin's narrative these interstellar prospectors landed on Earth, drawn by the shiny reward of our planet. But their needs went beyond precious metals. According to Sitchin, the Anunnaki, tired of manual labor decided to address their labor shortage with a rather revolutionary approach, genetic engineering. Homo sapiens in this fantastic narrative were sculpted from existing hominids, becoming the obedient workforce of the Anunnaki. The most comprehensive source of information about the origin of the human race, lies among the archaeological findings of the ancient Sumerian civilization. According to historians and archaeologists, Sumer was established between 5,500 and 4,000 BC. Thus, after the Great Flood, the Sumerians were the co-founders of the first major civilization in Mesopotamia. Located in the region between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers in present-day Iraq. Furthermore, the Sumerian civilization influenced the formation of societies that followed subsequently such as the Greco-Roman societies which in turn influenced the Western world. For example, techniques in medicine, architecture, engineering and hydraulics based on knowledge in mathematics, chemistry, physics and astronomy. Hold on to your spacesuits folks because things are about to get complicated. While Sitchin's narrative may paint a captivating picture of extraterrestrial prospectors and genetically modified humans, the academic community has a different perspective, wielding a strong hammer of criticism. They particularly target Sitchin's methodology, arguing that his translations of Sumerian texts are, well, let's just say questionable. They point out inconsistencies, selective choices, and even translation errors that distort the original meaning to fit his agenda. But the hammer doesn't stop there. Academics also question the connections Sitchin establishes between ancient myths and modern science. They argue that these connections are forced, 
often ignoring alternative interpretations and historical context. In their eyes he stretches the bounds of logic to fit his preconceived notions, leaving little room for objective analysis. And then there's Nibiru, the alleged home planet of the Anunnaki. This mysterious celestial body plays a crucial role in Sitchin's narrative. However, astronomers scoff at its existence, pointing to a complete lack of evidence and highlighting inconsistencies with established astronomical principles. To them, Nibiru is nothing more than a fictional invention, a product of Sitchin's imagination, and not a real cosmic entity. Sitchin's theories may dance on the fringes of academia, but that doesn't diminish their ability to unleash a storm of questions. While scholars may mock his interpretations and methodologies, there is undeniable power in the questions he raises. Questions that resonate deeply within us, urging us to look beyond established narratives and delve into the mysteries woven into the fabric of our past. Let's consider for a moment the possibility that ancient myths, while not literal accounts of alien visits, contain echoes of celestial phenomena misunderstood by our ancestors. Imagine witnessing a comet blazing across the night sky leaving a trail of awe and bewilderment. Could such an event, over generations, morph into a tale of divine chariots traversing the heavens? The lenses of history offer glimpses of similar transformations, eclipses attributed to wrathful gods, lightning seen as manifestations of divine anger. Is it so strange to think that our distant ancestors may have woven their own fantastical narratives around celestial wonders they couldn't comprehend? So, let's discuss in the comments about the topic. Do you believe Sitchin cracked the alien code or did he get lost in translation? Share your opinion in the comments below, and for more mind-bending mysteries, click the subscribe button and join the Deciphering Stories family. Remember, truth is stranger than fiction, and the universe holds countless stories waiting to be deciphered. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring, and keep your eyes open to the stars.